currently, uh, the way that uh, management plan decisions are made is it's based on the data that's available. If the data that is available on water quality is only from open water areas in the middle of the lake, then that's what we have to base our management plans on. Including nearshore data means that we can have a different schema to make decisions on, which will help inform management decisions. We actually uh, compare our concentrations to uh, guidelines. And what we do is we have provincial water quality objectives. We're just at the 20 micrograms per liter, and that is the provincial threshold. Because we haven't collected any nearshore data, we don't know what nearshore phosphorus concentrations look like. Phosphorus and algal production have a direct relationship. If you think of phosphorus as a volume on a radio, when you turn up phosphorus, you also turn up the productivity of, uh, of algae. We don't want those phosphorus values to go so high that now we're in a cleanup reactive mode again. We really want to be proactive and gathering all the information that's gonna give us a, a complete picture of the lake and help us have excellent management plans.